To give you a better idea of some of the advantages of working with a pressure-sensitive tablet, I'm going to actually show an edit right now. I'm using a Wacom Intuos 4 wireless tablet. This is pretty much identical to the Intuos 4 that we reviewed earlier, but uh, doesn't have a wire. It uh, connects to the Mac via a Bluetooth connection, and I'm not normally a big, oh, wireless must be better kind of guy, but I'm really liking the lack of cable on this tablet. It makes it, uh, normally the cable sticks out the side, not having it there does give me a number of ergonomic options that I really like. Uh, some cool things about the Intuos 4. First of all, here I am in Photoshop. What I want to do is, uh, using the brush, paint some white into this adjustment layer to create a highlight in this image. And, of course, normally I could, I would change brush size using keyboard shortcuts or go up here to the menu. On the Intuos 4, I have a button that I can press that pops up this menu that gives me these different options. Zo scrolling and zooming, cycling through layers, changing brush size, rotating the canvas. Once I pick one of those, there's a wheel, a touch wheel, that I can just spin on the tablet to change brush size. So I'm just running my thumb around this. Uh, you could use another finger if you choose, but, uh, you know, the thumb's what separates us from the lower animals, so I like to use it as much as possible. Uh, this is a really nice feature because it means I don't have to take my hands off of the tablet. One of the other really nice things that we'll see in a moment is that there are also programmable buttons on the tablet. I've got my brush set to airbrush. Uh, I'm going to crank up the opacity here. Now, if I wanted, I could program uh, that wheel button combination to be an opacity control but uh, I haven't. So what I'm going to do is just start painting in some highlight here. Now when I'm doing a painting chore like this I very often want to be able to switch between white and black paint to be able to correct mistakes that I've made. For example I've painted a little too much in the sky. I've got white and black in my foreground and background color. Normally I would come over here and click this uh, uh, swap colors button, but instead I'm just going to press one of the pre-programmed buttons that I've made which triggers the X key and and as you can see my colors swap when I do that. Uh, one thing that's particularly cool about the Intuos 4 is next to those programmable buttons are tiny little OLED displays that actually sh tell you the name that uh, of the command that you've programmed into the button. So next to mine there's a little X and I've um, programmed another one to be undo, so it actually says undo right there. I programmed another to automatically select the clone stamp tool or the uh, move tool. So again, what's nice about this is I don't have to take my hands off the tablet to uh, to change tools or, or activate any of these features. When combined with the wireless, it means I can really just sit back, um, not have to deal with the computer or the keyboard at all, and begin to paint up my mask. So I, I know it's difficult for you to see when I'm pressing and when I'm merely mousing around. When I'm pressing I'm getting a, a change in brush size and because I'm in airbrush mode I'm getting a, a, a buildup of paint. Um, just to give you an idea of how pressure sensitivity works, I'm going to turn off airbrush mode and dial in a large brush and put my opacity back to 100%. So take a look at this. If I click now um, I only get a spot that's that big, that tiny little spot there, even though my brush is that big huge circle. Now if I click with a mouse, I get the whole circle. What's cool about the Wacom is I can press harder and get up to my full stroke. So that's what makes it very easy to, to paint in very subtle, tiny little strokes. It's all just pressure sensitive. Let's just uh, swap to the finished result here. I'm going to turn off this adjustment layer, which by now is kind of uh, dysfunctional and turn on a, a more finished one to show you what the, uh, the final effect looks like. And I, I'm not quite done here. Um, more importantly, let's look at what I was able to build up as a mask. Note all of this subtle changes in grays here, uh, really going in and just brushing on layers of of paint to build up this very complex mass. To do this with the mouse would be very difficult. I would have to make a stroke, change opacity, make a stroke, change opacity, make a stroke, so on and so forth. I can do that very interactively with the brush. It's really one of the great advantages of working with a tablet and particularly when you're trying to create subtle mask work, really one of the reasons why a tablet is an exceptional tool for a digital photographer.